So for this problem, I'm given a function, and I want to find its average value over a solid region S. Here, S is the area between two spheres centered at the origin, the smaller one with radius 3 and the larger one with radius 5. So the first step to finding average value is defining the volume of our region. Here I have two spheres. So I'm going to find the volume of the larger sphere and then subtract the volume of the smaller sphere. So remember, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So let me plug in 5 first. So I have 4 thirds pi times 125. And I want to subtract 4 thirds pi times 27. Right? Because 27 is 3 cubed. Let me combine these two before I multiply. 125 minus, 1, minus 27 is going to be 98. So I have 4 thirds pi times 98, which is going to give me 392 pi over 3. You write this over here, out of the way. Go ahead and erase. So now I want to integrate f over this region. So I have two spheres. Immediately, I'm thinking spherical coordinates. So I know rho is kind of like my radius. So that's going to go from 3 to 5. And we're looking at the whole sphere here. So theta is going to go from 0 to 2 pi. And likewise, phi is going to go from 0 to pi, because the sphere goes all the way around the z-axis, you know, 180 degrees. So now the only thing left to do is change my function into spherical coordinates. So I have 1 over x squared plus y squared plus z squared. But we can remember that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to rho squared. So I'm really looking at rho to the negative 2. And that's everything I need to integrate. So I'm going to integrate with respect to phi first, then rho, and then theta. But it doesn't really matter which order. And then remember dv in spherical coordinates is rho squared sine phi. So when I multiply that by my rho to the negative 2, my rows are going to cancel out. And the only thing I'm going to be integrating is sine phi. d phi, d rho, d theta. So let's go ahead and get started. The integral of sine is negative cosine. Oh, what am I doing? Divide by your area. The most important part of finding average value, right? OK, so I have my 3 over 392 pi out in front. I just flipped that fraction that we got for volume. And now I'm ready to integrate with respect to phi. Uh, I just said integral of, of sine phi is negative cosine phi. Well, I don't really want it to deal with that negative sign, so I'm going to go ahead and switch the bounds of integration for phi. So now it's from pi to 0. That just takes, a, takes care of my negative. So let's go ahead and plug in. I'm looking at phi equals 0 first. And cosine of 0 is 1. And then I have cosine of pi, which is negative 1. So I'm subtracting a negative 1, which is like adding 1. So I'm actually going to get 2 here. So 
So that makes it pretty easy, right? I'm going to go and switch this 2 to a 1 and put a 6 out here. This makes it a little bit easier to work with. So now I'm integrating 1 with respect to rho. So that's just going to be rho. Let me move up here. So I want to integrate from rho equals 3 to rho equals 5. Let me go ahead and plug in 5 first, right? I'm going to have 5 minus 3, which is just going to be 2. I'm going to multiply that by my fraction out front to get 12 over 392 pi. It's a little bit easier for me to work with. So now I'm just integrating d theta, which is going to be theta. And I want to evaluate that from 0 to 2 pi. Well, this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to get 2 pi minus 0, which is just 2 pi. So the pi's cancel out, and with the help of your calculator, you can get 3 over 49. which is going to be the average value of our function over our region S.